Hey y'all. Today I'm going to be using um, Artie Mae's Purple Medley Kit. And some purple playing cards, some purple back playing cards that I rescued from the resale shop. These are the pieces of ephemera that I printed. I did print these uh, half size. And then I also printed a background sheet in the little purple and green floral. And I printed this green background sheet, but I ended up not using it. I also have four paper clips. These are two inch paper clips. These are digital printable papers and they are available over in um, the Artie Mays Etsy shop. I'm just going to roughly cut out the images that I'm going to use for the paper clips. I printed these on copy weight paper, so I am going to back these onto book pages. Then I cut the images out. And I used Vintage Photo Distress Oxide and inked up around the edges. Now, I am not going to prep these cards with gesso. I'm not going to sand these cards. I'm not going to do any of that work because I am going to stitch these images down. I'm just going to glue these down with some Eileen's Tacky Glue to hold them into place so that I can stitch on them. Now, I know from experience that if I were to use this glue and glue these images to, to the backs of these uh, laminated cards, these shiny cards, that those images would lift um, as soon as I bent the card just a little bit. Those images will actually pop off. That glue will come loose. So if you wanted to make these paper clips without stitching them down, you would need to prep these cards in some way using gesso, maybe sanding them down a little bit, uh, something of that nature. Okay, now after I've glued all my images on, I need to decide where these paper clips are gonna go in my journal to know where I need to glue the paper clip in place onto the card. So like this one is gonna be a right loading paper clip. So I want my paper clip on the right side. And to hold my paper clip in place while I'm working on it, I'm going to be using some book page. And I'm just going to tear a little piece of this book page off and use it to glue that paper clip into place. I'm also going to be leaving a loop of the paper clip sticking out so that I can add a dangle or a beaded piece or something off of the um, off the paper clip. So I'm going to slip that book page into the paper clip and then I'm going to glue one side down. And for my paper clips, I chose to leave the larger side as the side to clip to my page and glued down the shorter side. And then I'm just using some tools to make sure that that paper clip is really, really held into place and that paper is glued down well. 
and then I will just continue on and do this with all four paper clips. After these dried, I took them to my sewing machine and I stitched around the image from the kit. I just used a straight stitch. Now I do hand drive my sewing machine across the actual paper clip instead of using the foot pedal so that I can control my needle and I don't break my needle trying to get over those paper clips. And then on the back, I came back and I cut just the stitches that were holding my paper clip down um, so that my paper clip still worked correctly and I could slide it onto the page. Now I'm not worried about clipping these strings because once I glue the back on, those strings will be held into place. They won't come loose. And then I took a backing sheet and cut some strips a little bit wider than my cards. I took these pieces and slid them under the paper clip. It's best to try to line up the edge of the backing paper with the side of the card that has the paper clip sticking out so that you're not having to trim on that side and try to rip, trim around that paper clip. And I'm gonna glue these backing sheets on. And I will be stitching around these as well. As you can see, I'm really, really pressing that paper down right around where the paper clips are sitting. Then I'll trim around each card. And I'm going to ink around these with my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. And now I will take these back to my sewing machine and I'm gonna stitch with a straight stitch all the way around the card. And here are the results. Now this time I did not clip any of the stitches around that paper clip because I didn't need to in order for the paper clip to work correctly. Now I'll go back to my journal, find the places where I've paper clipped things in, and replace those plain paper clips with my plain card paper clips. And I have a little loop left on the side where I can hang a charm or a dangle or some kind of embellishment off the edge of the paper clip. Thanks for watching, y'all.